Hello friends, welcome back to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in wave analytics. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how can we apply global filters in wave analytics and uh, what are the various uses of global filter and how can we apply global filters on multiple widgets on a dashboard in so to work on global filters first of all i'm going to create a new lens so we already had a lens here bisp lenses so either we can use it or we can create a fresh lens by using a data set so in this uh, in my case to demonstrate is that i'm using sales data set so i click on sales data set by default when we load uh, when we create a lens you can see the measure we have is count of rows and uh, there is no grouping okay so there is no grouping has been done and the total number of records we have is 8.4 thousand so that is 8395 that is around 8000 we can change the measure instead of sum and i can say sum of sales so you can see we can change the sum as well that is 15 millions that is around 15 million so what I'm doing is I'm not going to create any grouping at present. I'm uh, it depends if we want we can have grouping as well. But uh, let's suppose I'm uh, going to clip this. So I clip this and gives uh, I'll just simply say total sale and clip to designer. So it will as you know that it will add on a new dashboard. That's our total sale. So that's the new feature that's a new update which they have recently done in wave analytics because earlier when we when we click on when we uh, clip any lens on a dashboard it directly add out on our dashboard but now it, it asks us to provide a name to provide a step name so that we can easily configure it or easily identify in json file so when i go for json file it is easily identified that we have a step is this one and there are no widget added at present so there are no widgets that's a simple grid layout and we can add a widget later on so next is i again get back to new lens and now this time i'm going to apply a filter so let's suppose i want to apply a filter on sum and i would like to range it between uh, specific value so i want to range it between 10000 to 50000 that's the range i want to specify so that's the range i have specified and click on add so see the total sale between this is around 4.7 millions. So that's the sale, that's the total sale between 10,000 and 50,000. If you want, you can instead of sum of sales, you can go for count as well. Now I'm going to clip it again and I add it as filter. Filter one. Now how to apply a global filter? First of all, I drag and drop the lens. I drag and drop this step actually and it creates a or we can do like this as well instead of doing this we can add a chart add the step onto it and we can change its style if you want we can change the style as well we can change the donor into donor chart so this is more easy to understand so i'll go with this donor chart now next is i want to apply a global filter on this so the filter which we have done the filter which we have added i want to apply that global filter on this particular chart so i simply drag and drop the global filter at present the global filter is blank so i click outside and drag and drop this filter onto this so it's one second let me check. so let's check it again so i simply drag and drop the global filter tool and i drag this step onto this global filter and as you can see here as soon as i dropped it as soon as i drop it on global filter it quickly filter this record to 4.7 million this is one chart so i want to represent i want to show the total sale for total sale based on this filter and also i want to display one more chart without filter so uh, once again, I'll just change it to donor. So that's the, so as you can see here, both of them are same. This is sum of sales. So I'll just, first of all, I just set the title as total sale within range. 
and we have sum of sales so donut chart i remove the major title and this one is total sale total sale and there would be no filter onto this so i don't want to apply any filter onto this so to remove the filter or to skip the filter on any graph or on any uh, any chart simply select the properties select that chart go to step and in, on a step we have applied global filter this one so as soon as i uncheck this global filter see what happened when i uncheck this global filter it turns into 15 million now what happened only this chart is based on this filter and this chart is not associated with any filter now even if you have multiple filters if you have uh, more than one filter this chart will not be associated only or uh, will not be associated with any filter because we have removed this apply global filter so that's how we can work on global filters. We can apply global filters in wave analytics. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bstrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on wave analytics. I will be coming up with some new concepts in wave analytics. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. So you can get back to us anytime. Goodbye.